We're now to 161. Good load. And this is the Voyage ship. Voyage ship? Hmm. I smell Voyager. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Star Trek official Starships collection by Eagle Moss. This time we're up to 100, 161 already. Good lord. Right, this is the Void ship and hmm, I'm not quite sure about this one. It just looks a bit odd. So let's get to that one in a second. So let's, let's learn a little bit about this ship, shall we? Now, I'm assuming it's from Voyager. 24th century Delta Quadrant. Yes, yes, and yes. Operated by Night Aliens. Okay. If they were Night Aliens, why do they need neon so much? Oh well. A very organic ship. Okay, so maybe they're not... It's a living ship, is it? Must be a living ship. Locking device. Ooh. Damping field. Beam weapons. Okay. Now, this ship does remind me of something. And I'll tell you in a bit what it is, because I've got it next to me. I mean, the organic feel is it just it's like a veins on it, and you've got a skin. Uh, uh, it's very weird. It's very much like the. If it is a living ship, then it's like the Gum 2 that we had from Tin Man episode Next Generation. Possible thrusters on the back. Yeah. Four years into the 70,000 light year journey home, from the Delta Quadrant use of Voyager in, enters this area space dubbed the Void. Devoid of light. Yeah, I play Elite Dangerous quite a bit. And there are sections which are like dark areas, which is, is too much dust and gas, and light doesn't really get out of them. But. I don't know if it's completely black, but yeah, it's, it's fine. It might be just a smallish sort of, relatively small area. Ooh. A lot of these episodes I really need to get back into. Uh-oh, we have a problem there. That's stuck together. There we go. Okay, an injured alien removed remain aboard Voyager. So is that the aliens that was on there? Must be. It's a full bodysuit. It's a very weird running lights. So that's all we've got, running lights and primary hull. Crest? So we, Eagle Moss really didn't know much about this ship. Got the CGI files and, and absolutely no idea what it was. That's different. So you've got three different colours on here. You've got a green, actually you've got a light green, a mid-green, oranges and a blue over here as well with some markings inside. And the red for the back for the thrust thrusters. It has to be thrusters unless it's, 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 um, yeah, it's, um, back end, shall we say. That actually looks different. Ah, no concept pictures. Okay. Not like eyes on the side. It, it must be on the other side. Got the different eyes. That is really tr truly alien. Granted, Star Trek has to be about the mission, exploring new life. So it it ticks all the box on that one. But what gets me a bit on this is I don't think they've shown it yet. But I, oh, if you've seen the videos, I've got uh, Star Trek weapons. Nothing over the top, don't worry about it, I'm not going to kill anybody. They're just models and whatever, but I took a cast from the Playmates Star Trek VI phaser, which is here. Now, it's not a billion miles off, it's kind of, I don't know. You can see the sections here, I mean obviously that comes out from there, but you can see the sections it loops down for the handle and it loops around the back. I don't know, I can I can I can see this in that. I mean this is a resin mixed model of 
that exact one. It didn't do very well, to be honest, because I was experimenting, didn't do too good. I'm going to be sanding this down and having a really good go at doing these. I've got three of these, actually. One was too thin, one was too fat, and one just didn't do well. But getting that part on there was an absolute nightmare. But, yes. But I just think it looks like a phaser on its side. I really do. Hmm. I honestly do. It's just it's the weirdest looking thing. It's possibly not even the Star Trek VI phaser. Which actually this was, the Star Trek V as well, which is weirdly, you know, I'd never saw it in that, but moves in this direction. Hmm. I'm intrigued to get this out. The model out of the box. Hmm. Yeah, more explaining of the Series 5, was it Series 4, 5? With the Borg, with the Equinox, the Aliens. Hmm. There's only one episode night. It's Dan Curry, designed with Brandon McDoodle. Odal, yes. Okay. Next one. Oh, hello. Yes, that's cool. Didn't that blow up? Because that was obviously from Star Trek Generations. Didn't see much of it on screen. It kind of was there and then went boom. But yeah, that's the next one. So let's get on with. That's a weird shot. No. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Let's get on with the model, shall we? Let's see if this is any good. So, out of the box, void ship. 2568A slash A. So it's the first run, which is nice. It's always nice on the first run. Hmm. Hmm. Do you see what I mean? Do you honestly see what I mean? It's, it's a gun. It can be held like a gun. Oh, oh, okay. You know, I'm, immediately I'm disappointed. One, because it, it flies that way, right? From your angle, looking down, it flies from there to there. But on your back here, you've got purple engines. I thought this was possibly red. But also, these plastic bits are just being stuck on. I mean, I love neon green, but, hmm, okay, but definitely a phaser of types, possible, no way, no, no, I'll get off of that, that sort of thing, let's, let's show you the bloody model, shall we? Right, so front parts of the ship there, coming in from the, um, ah, that way around, let's zoom out for this. There's your engines on the back. It's... I don't know, it's one of those Marmite ones, isn't it? You've got some blue light lighting on there, but it's painted on. I don't know. Some handle looks like it's from Oddworld. Abe's Odyssey for the PlayStation. Is it a Scrab? Scarab. Well, it's, it's it's definitely a grower. I mean, there is no point in showing you the side because it should be completely symmetrical. That's Babylon Five, that isn't it? That angle is definitely a Mimbara ship. I wonder if Eagle Moss will ever do Babylon Five. You could do a, a, a special series of 30, I'm sure they could. Oh, okay, that's a part stuck on the side of there. Hmm. You can't really keep this still. There's just so many different angles you can view it at and see different things. Hmm. 
Mm, that's the closest I can get without it blurring. Oh no, there we go. That's better. There's a hair on that. There we go. Going down there, over to the front. Mm, that's not the nose cone, that's the bottom of the front. Front section is here. The join right out in the middle. Mm. So technically, those are its eyes. It's like species 8472, they've got these strange different types of eyes on the side of it which kind of weirds me out a little bit but also let's just get back into focus it's very different very alien very hmm definitely growing on me definitely growing Yeah, it's that way around. That's top to bottom, the way it should go. So yeah, very, very, very different. I can't really say much about this because I don't really know much. Quit the cloaking device, the photonic surge. We also had transporters that would generate a damping field and drain the power of other ships. Well, that's quite clever. But we're outgunned by Malon export vessels. So, yeah, so I'm reading from Memory Alpha, which is in front of me on the screen. Hmm. Jamie made peace with the night aliens. Several of their ship supported voyagers attempt to destroy the spatial vortex. Oh, okay, with the antimatter dump. Oh, oh okay. I think I'm getting the idea of this. This is the ones that were dumping all the, all the waste, the Malon vessels. And these were trying to tell them that there were, um, yeah, there were bad things going on, but Voyager wouldn't listen. But they helped them out. But there was, wasn't there a? It was the the they managed to jump a few light years forward, I think, on this episode. Or they're probably of just oops a daisy. We blew it up and didn't fly through first. But yeah, I need to look back at the episode. It's called called Night. Yes, Voyager episode of Night. So it's a nice enough ship. I mean, if I had to go at start because it looks like a phaser. Hmm. But I don't come quite growing on with that. If it's, if, it's a, if it's an organic ship, then yeah, keep bringing them out. Like that. So size-wise, again, it's kind of width of the hand, not length, but there you have it. Quite nice. I shade of purple, blue, green, orange. Yeah. Okay, it's a grower. It's definitely a grower. So, another one for the collection, 161. Good Lord. But, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Anyway, a ton of videos about the Eagle Moss stuff, some other Star Trek sci-fi stuff all already on the channel anyway. Please check them out if you've got a few minutes to spare. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.